Hello everybody, welcome to another quick tip video for Blender and this time this it will be about how to make bolt or screw uh, mainly quads only and uh, supportive for subdivision surface well mainly this ends how to make them quads only this is often very problematic uh, I always start with just plane which I in edit mode rotate around x axis by 90 degrees and with these two lines I will define the outer radius of the bolt and the inner one uh, you can uh, place here exact uh, measurements uh, so for example in one could be point zero five oh well let's get with it and this one point zero seven uh, scale it along the axis so we will get just one uh, helix or one around get rid of the inner edge scale down the other one this is uh, still pretty straightforward how to make it uh, add screw modifier to this profile uh, screw it like 0 0.02 uh, will make it smaller well it could be the profile how it could go and just increase the iterations well this shouldn't be really any problem with making a screw but how to make bolt out of this so first of all I will duplicate it and move to some other layer just because I want to keep this modifier for uh, later changes because I will now apply it on this object so now I have it as object and not, not as modifier and I will connect these face uh, these edges with face and I I am using the uh, F2 add-on so the filling the rest is just by holding the F button and wait long enough then it fill up till the end then I will close uh, this uh, opening of the profile again with hitting F and now uh, I have to make sure that uh, I have uh, my 3D cursor in the center select uh, vertex this one up here and uh, snapping I will set to vertex and uh, active active one so now if I hit E to extrude then uh, well I screw it up but uh, don't forget to change the pivot point to 3D cursor now you can go to E for extrude R to rotate Z to rotate around Z axis and with control if you highlight some point it will snap to this point and I will highlight the next one so it will uh, extrude and rotate uh, up towards this point well but after this I don't want to make uh, any other selection or any anything else so I will do it again you don't have to if you uh, didn't mess up uh, it as I previously so E R Z at this point and now shift R for repeating this step uh, before I get uh, two points from the end now I can close this up and again with 
uh, help of F2 add-on. I will just hit F till I get here. Then Control R to get even number of vertices. Again, close this. And here I have to redirect the geometry uh, to face loop to uh, don't have triangles anywhere here. So I will have I will just double tap G to move this vertex uh, vertex along the edge and fill this with quad. So so far I have still quads only. If I select this ring, extrude and move it up a little bit, uh, get rid of the uh, 3D cursor median and scale it along z-axis by 0. Well, I have quads only ending of the screw. Uh, this is good to move it G shift Z and make it smoother. It can be done by I. And if you apply the subdivision surface, you see it's quads only bold and you can do whatever you want up here it has nice ending same thing is for the downside so so far you can turn this video off if you already saw it if you want recapitulation you can watch further uh, this face mm, F to close it up this vertex, make sure you are around 3D cursor, that the 3D cursor is in the center of the helix. E, R, Z, control, snapping to this, and shift R till it will reach uh, here. Close this up with F, and again hit F till you get uh, here, Control R, close this with F, and don't forget redirect the geometry, double tap G, F, and extrude this ring, and scale it around Z. Well, first I should turn off the 3D cursor. Well, Again, I can smooth this up. If you have uh, inner radius instead of the outer one, it's the same thing. You just looked inside. And this is actually all for this quick tip. It's very easy. It should make quick, uh, make quicker your workflow. Uh, if you had uh, some better workflow or some better method, uh, definitely uh, let me know. I would like to know about it. Uh, this is just uh, how I do it. I never said this is the best way, but I hope it still will be useful for you. Well, thank you for watching. And till the next time, bye.